Hello, sticking me out of the picture. Hello and welcome to another edition of Rare Hot Wheels. And here we are back again between Christmas and New Year. Hope you all had a good Christmas and I uh, hope you all have a good 2020. But yes, Christmas has come and gone and over the Christmas time I had a couple of presents, a couple of them relevant to uh, Rare Hot Wheels and a couple of them not. One of them was a nice watch uh, from my good lady and also I had this from my good lady as well. Nice little bit of kit. If I open it up, you will see inside a little pink bag. Now, for the geeks amongst you, who already know what this is. For those that you aren't, that, for those who that aren't geeks, you won't know what it is. So here it is. What we have here is a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. Uh, not B plus, is it? No. And uh, this was also a present from my good lady. And this is going to be the heart of the timing system of the track I'm going to build in the garage, a two lane raceway square quarter mile. I have mentioned it before. I do have to learn how to program it though. And I know not the first thing about Raspberry Pi or Raspbian or Python, which is the program I'm going to use to program it. But nonetheless, I will persevere and uh, try and make it work. I'll be using photodiodes and all sorts of bits and pieces for all the trap times and trap speeds reaction times and so on and so on and so on. And if you know drag racing then you know what's in time and slip. That's what I'm going to try and reproduce in 164th for all my Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Corgi, Majorette and everything else that are lying around loose. So that was the one of the most important presents at Christmas. Also, let's put the instructions in there because if I lose them then that will be not good. I'm still waiting for a few bits to arrive on the post, the keyboard, mouse, um, newbie thing on a memory card and a few other bits and pieces. I've got to move these onto them in a minute. Excuse me. In fact, let's put these down here. Right, and the other really nice thing I got for Christmas from my other half was this. Can we get that whole thing in? Yes, a 20 car pack from Hot Wheels containing a couple of uh, exclusives and uh, some nice castings, but this one uh, actually turns out that it's actually an error as if you'll see right there and right there well, come back this way there we go right there and right there we have two mustangs the same uh, not usual in a multi-pack and quite useful these won't be coming out there's some nice castings in there looking through it we've got the uh, a Lamborghini of some kind another Lamborghini of some kind not my supercars, we have a Corvette. We have a Jaguar XJ220, a aforementioned Mustang. Roger Dodger 2, which is a bit odd, with two big electric cooling fans sticking out of the hood. We have a nice Corvette. We have what appears to be a Mustang. A few fantasy cars. We have the, the no mill, sorry, uh, the twin mill with the electric engine, which isn't really a twin mill because it doesn't have any engines, so therefore there are no mills in it. We have an NSX, a fantasy car, we have a 426 Hemi uh, Challenger, a nice Golf Nova, another Mustang, something there that looks actually quite nice but I don't know what it is. And um, so down at the bottom in the corner there is what looks like a Ford Fiesta Rally car. So these will be getting filed away in my big box of things I will never open, maybe. Right, on with the show, anyway. Let's get on to this. Now which one shall I open first? Shall I open this one? Or that one? I you say this one. Okay, right, I'll open this one then. So, let's just angle the camera down a bit. Let's get to a point and a bit that I can open. Let's come down. Let's get like that. Let's get my big slicing scissors out. These are huge. I think these are meant for, I don't know, cutting people up. Although I wouldn't do such a thing. They are also quite sharp. And uh, I'm just going to use the corner of it to go through there. Oops, making sure I don't stab myself with the other end that's sticking out. Let's go around there. And these wing their way in just before Christmas, all the way from the United States. And unfortunately, we were out and I missed them by the posting. So, oh, this is quite neat. 
Chuck has used some rather lovely eBay wrapping paper. Now uh, let's get them out. All in the bag. Oh, let's just collect them all we have in this box. Can't really tell what it is yet. <laughs> oh, they're a nice big three big Ziploc bags. That's quite good. Right, let's put the put the rubbish on the floor and let's get this scotch tape off. The low tack, the low tack tape. I know people tape. These will get, the, these are definitely not coming out. And if you don't know what they are. You will find out in a sec. Might be able to tell from what's on the back, but then again, I'm not in close at the moment. This is a bit easier, far easier if I just go like this. Snip. Right. First bag open. And what we have here is the Chrome and whatever 52nd anniversary series. Silver and chromes, I think they're called, or golden chromes. These are really nice. Here we have a 68 Corvette the Gas Monkey Garage Edition on this rather cool card. This is, the, I guess, the 2020 edition of the um, the black and golds. These are chrome and golds, that's it, or white and golds. Um, this is the 2020 edition of the 1998 anniversary ones. And these are celebrating, as you can see by there, the 52nd anniversary. Which is an old anniversary to celebrate, but I'm not complaining. So here we have the uh, Type 2 pickup VW, which is quite a nice little bit of kit. And uh, again, the cards are actually quite neat. Some people have said they're a bit plain and boring, but to be fair, I actually quite like these. Now, let's open the second bag and see what we've got in there. Oh. So let's carefully remove this one. And what we have here is the fast bed hauler, which again is in white and gold, rather a nice looking machine. This is quite a nice set, and again, the drawings on the card are really cool. And excuse me if you can hear a winding in the background, it's not a supercharger winding up downstairs, it's the spin on the washing machine. Now, here's a really nice, nice casting. We have the 55 Bel Air gasser, and that is bad, b -b 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 bad to the bone. As are all these 55 Chevy casters, and I'm surprised that the uh, Hot Wheels didn't bring out the Street Rodder one from a few years ago, the one they used for the turn left tour around the States, and that was the, the matte black 55 Chevy, sort of, not strictly a gasser, but it was uh, certainly um, a street strip car, and uh, it was called Hemisphere, and uh, I'm surprised they didn't bring that one out, but there we go. Here we have a casting I'm not familiar with. Although it's got a bit of a, it's got a bit of a Pontiac around the front of it. <laughs> it kind of reminds me, in a way, of the Monkey Mobile as well. For those of you that are old enough to remember, it is a Barris creation from back in the 60s for a band called the Monkeys out of their own TV show. But that is quite a cool little casting as well, and uh, quite like the um, the engine under glass. Now that rings a bell. It's called Muscle Speeder, and when you get something like that, I wonder if it's a Hemi in there, because there was a fantastic drag car from the 60s called Hemi Under Glass, which Jay Leno was a passenger in when it crashed a couple of years ago, just after it had been restored, sadly. But hey-ho, if you use a car, you've got to expect that, or expect that sometimes the impossible or the what you don't want to happen might happen. Right, and finally from, from this set, and this is all six, we have the 32 Ford Coupe. Which is again another nice casting. Been around for a number of years, but it is rather cool. And again, this is this is one nice set. And um, last year, I think the the black and gold were blue and gold, and I think I got a couple of them when I came back from the states. But the uh, I wasn't particularly enthralled by those. I wasn't over enthused, but uh, mainly because of the castings in them were pretty rubbishy, really. But this time, there are some nice castings in this set. So here we go, on to the second box. What do I have in there? What do we have in store? I would say answers on a postcard, but unfortunately I'll have it open before you manage to get a postcard in the post to me. So let's go through there. Again, once again, I'm sure I don't stab myself with these seemingly sharp scissors. So put them there. 
and oh, it's burst open. And these are from the same chap out in the states. And uh, eBay purchase. I do like this um, eBay wrapping paper. All right, so open this one. And these have been oops individually bagged. And what do we have in here? I know, but as yet you don't. Once again, it's in a bag. So if I get the bag right, this you will find is the chase piece for the set I've just shown you. If I can get into the thing. Um, a bit like the gold Camaros and the 50th anniversary ones. Whereas, um, thankfully, people aren't going steady for these. And to, to be fair, it's not a cast I would actually bought myself, but because it was the chase piece for the set, I've actually got two of them. That one's Australian because it's upside down, this one isn't. But if I write it, we have the Gazella GT. And this thing is in what looks, to, well, they call it gold, but it actually looks like it's copper plated. And I'm guessing it's probably not copper plated because of cost, Mattel wouldn't splash out on copper plated cars. But that is the chase piece for the 2020 <sighs> white, and, white and gold, chrome and gold. And, uh, it's quite a nice set. So, with that, I will bid you farewell. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll add some more to this. Now let's bring yourself up so you're not just looking at my mouth. Ha, there we go. Right, yes, um, I shall bid thee farewell at this moment in time um, and get this uploaded onto the computer. In the meantime, I might do a little bit more and add it to the end of this video. Let's see how long it goes on for, because sometimes when I start rambling on, I end up with a video that goes on for 20 minutes or more. And uh, I'm guessing most of you people that aren't into what will get bored after about 15 or 16 seconds and knock the thing off. So, if I've gone on for ages, i just thrown one on the floor. Hmm. Now, if I've gone on for ages, not to worry. Anyway, if I don't put another half on this, Happy New Year to you all of you. Have a great 2020, and thank you for watching, and see you soon. Toodles!